Welcome back again. This is Bobby, the Bearded Wonder with Tuck Fly Shop. Here to do another virtual guide series, doing a knot today. We're gonna to do the perfection loop. Before we get into that, hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell, as always. I always mention that. Just gotta give you that reminder. Also, check us out there on Facebook, Instagram, uh, and our podcast, Tuck Cast with a Splash of Bourbon. Shannon does a great job on that. I sometimes sound pretty good too myself. So let's jump into the knot today. Perfection loop. What is a perfection loop used for? So when you buy those prepackaged leaders, not all of them, but most of them nowadays, at least from like Rio, SA, uh, Orvis, people like that, they've already got a loop on the end of them. That loop is a perfection loop. So let's say something happens out on the water and that gets messed up, but you still can use that leader. It'd be nice to know how to tie that loop back into the line. Or if you ever build your own leaders and you want to put a loop on that end, you'll know how to do this. So a perfection loop is fairly simple knot. It looks more complicated than it really is. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to throw a loop. We're going to rotate our right hand away from us and create a loop. Oh, let me mention this before I get into it. Give yourself plenty of line. Don't skimp on this. So we rotate our right hand away from us, create this loop. Draw it down so it's not super big, but big enough where you'll be able to pinch through it. You'll see why in a second. All right, so everybody got that. Then we're going to take... We're going to create a lasso around that loop. So we're basically creating a second loop if you see that. And as we do that, I'm going to do it this way too so you can see what it looks like from my side. That's what it looks like. You're going to pinch that in your thing. So here's the first loop I formed. Here's the second loop. And the reason you want to be able to reach through this one is we're going to draw this second loop and make it a little smaller. You're going to reach through the first and grab the second just like that. And you're going to pull this out. Now, I find it easier, I don't have a tool right here with me, if I have like a pin or a knot tying tool, or even I'll use my big hook here, I'll sometimes put something in it and I'll cinch it down that way. And it just makes it a little easier to get that knot super tight. That is essentially the perfection loop tied fairly quickly. Um, the one thing on a perfection loop that you gotta be careful of is your tag end. You don't wanna trim it right up against the knot. It does when it seats in, it sometimes doesn't seat all the way. So you wanna leave just a smidge, not much, but just a little bit. And I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I'll try to hold it in the camera, just about that much. I don't know if that came through, but if it didn't, you get my point. Keep it a little, little bit out. And the only reason is that it can slip in and cinch a little bit. But that is the perfection loop. It's great if you needed to tie that, like I said, on the end of a leader. I use it in rope every now and then. Um, there is one thing about a perfection loop. It will not work on small, small tippet. So once you kind of get into that five, six, seven, eight X, even if you guys go that far down, uh, this will not hold in that, it will just slip right out. So it's mainly for like butt sections of leader, larger piece, pieces of line. Um, but that is it in a nutshell, pretty simple, pretty quick. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. Anytime you got questions, give us a call at the shop, 828-488, sorry, 3333, 828-488-3333. There's so many threes in that, I always get confused. Also check us out uh, online. Oh, we got that online store, tuckflyshop.com. And if you got any questions, email us at info at tuckflyshop.com. Thanks so much.